Hello guys, welcome to today's video. And on today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Bing AI on your PC. So the first thing you need to do to use Bing AI is actually to download Microsoft Edge. Now, Microsoft Edge is actually um, a powerful tool that you can use to browse the internet, just like your Google browser. So making use of Microsoft Edge actually allows you access to um, it allows you access to the Bing AI Copilot, the Microsoft Designers, and all of the AI that comes with the Bing that comes with the Bing app, uh, like I showed you on my mobile app. So, if you want to actually make use of um, a Microsoft Edge, just go ahead and type in um, Edge download. That's if you are actually making use of a Google Chrome browser. But if you are making use of um, the Microsoft Bing or the Microsoft Edge or the Microsoft Explorer, you can always download this. So once you have it downloaded, you can get to, you are good to go. So once you have it downloaded, the first thing they actually need to ask you is to sign in to your Google app, um, to your Microsoft account. So either your Live account or your Outlook account, once you have that logged in, you can actually make use of Microsoft Edge. Now, I've ar I already have my own logged in, just like on my mobile phone, is still the same account in Trisi. And then um, all I need to do now to start making use of Bing is right here on this top area. So pay attention to this icon where it has the Bing icon. The Bing is actually used to be a search by Microsoft. So pay attention to this area. So um, all you need to do is actually click on that and we can start working on uh, our Bing AI. So click on it and once your Bing AI opens up, you are going to notice um, it displayed this way. This is actually welcoming you to Bing AI and the AI powered copilot for the web. And you can notice more information on this top area. So this information is actually an example of what happens when you choose any of this mode. So if you want to start making use of the Bing AI, you actually need to choose a particular mode. If you choose the creative mode, it's going to automatically change um, this message rather to um, what is going to appear when you search for creative mode. And when you click on this, you see what appears when you use um, the balance mode. And when you click on precise, you are going to see what appears when you use the precise mode. Now, if you're ready to start using Bing, just go ahead and close this. Um, this is just an advertisement letting you to know that you can also use the image identifier to identify images on your Bing search, or probably you have a video or a picture uploaded on your device and you want to actually search for that image on the web, you are going to make use of this. So I'm going to close that because we actually want to make use of our search. Now to start searching for your Bing AI. So the next thing we, the first thing we actually need to do is ask Bing AI. Um, this question. Um, let's go ahead and ask it. Um, right. So um, this is actually a simple question and it should give us the answer in a precise mood. All right, wait for it. Okay, so this is the result. Now, um, it says, uh, this is actually giving a comparison. I just want the comparison on the camera. So it shouldn't give me anything aside that, but for some reason, it's giving me more information, which means we are not making use of precise mode. This is obviously um, a creative mode. So let me just confirm that. Okay, I can't see exactly the mode that we are using, but this should be um, a this should be a creative mode definitely because if it's a precise mode, it's not supposed to give me other information. But then you can read through um, you can read through it. The camera quality of both iPhone and Samsung camera Samsung phones is actually highly regarded as the best um, choice. Can often come down to personal personal preference. Here is the comparison. Then it's giving the um, 
the comparison of uh, iPhone, and then you can see where the source of that information is coming from. Then the resolution is actually 48 megapixel main uh, sensor, and then photonic engine, which appears, uh, which applies Google Deep Fusion processing to image earlier to the detailed. Now, um, when you scroll down, you, are, you can actually see the one from the Samsung Galaxy um, S22 Ultra. It has a 108 megapixel main camera and it's partially um, improved in the low light photo, um, photographic. So it also has a, a much clearer zoom that can be matched. Now, um, this comparison is actually very clear. And if you read further, you are going to see even more information, which is actually very cool. And whenever you want to start a new conversation, you can click on this area to start a new topic. Then you can start a new topic. So that is actually how to make use of Bing. And then apart from you typing it, you can also make use of the um, voice or the microphone to actually type for you. So when you click on that, um, it says I'm listening and you can notice it's actually listening to what I'm saying, but then I am going to clear this and I'm going to start afresh. So let's do this. All right, I just cleared it. So now let's use the microphone again. Who is the recent, oh, come on, I have to. Who is the current Ballon d'Or winner? All right, let's see. All right, so if you pay very close attention, you can see that it actually is reading it out as an audio, which is also very unique, right? So I think making use of the voice actually allows it to also um, reply to you with also a voice note. So whenever you make use of the mic option, it replies to you with a voice note. And you can see the way it did it like very smoothly and very easy. So guys, if you um, for any reason want to do more things with your Bing, you can actually come here and then you compose. So it says um, advertisements for my, that is if you actually wanted to compose, um, compose information for you or to um, create words for you. So you can just come to this compose and then say advertisement for my 2010 Camry. And then um, you can make it professional, like the tone it's want to use, you want it to use. You can make it professional, casual, enthusiastic, um, enthusiastic information, informational, funny. And then you can click on this plus to also use other formats. Then you want it to either be in paragraph, email format, ideas, blog. Now. Most of these um, are actually very unique. And guys, I am going to give you more information on how to use this. I just want to show you how to use Bing AI on today's video. And when you click on the insight, you can still see more information on what you can do with the insight. Now, this insight actually gives you the insight just like Google Trends does. So this actually gives you the insight to um, the rating of, um, does this, you can rate this if what you think is actually right. But just go ahead and scroll down a little bit and you can see the um, global rank website which is the top website on the edge browser this is based on edge browser data and then top 10 ranked in nigeria which is top 10 ranked website so um you can actually click on it to view more information but what it actually means is that the site on Microsoft Edge in Nigeria for the last month has been used um, and is actually currently sitting on the top 10 and also top 10 in the world. And you can see the people using this and they are all here. So if for any reason you actually want to find out more information, you can click on this area to see other most used websites. And that is it. So guys, um, I hope this video is helpful. I am going to make more information about the Microsoft Bing AI on my coming video on how to use them on your PC because there is a lot of things you can do on your Bing AI. Putting it all in one video is not going to make it useful enough. So I'm going to like separate them in different videos. So I hope this video is helpful and I will see you on my next video. Please stay safe and peace.